Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Today we are at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois, and I am very happy to be joined by Dr. Edward Sa Savage, who is a cardiac surgeon at the Cleveland Clinic in Weston, Florida, which is near Fort La Lauderdale. Dr. Savage, thanks for being here today. Sure, glad to be here. Yeah, so we've got questions coming in from our Facebook page, and we'd like to ask you a question here from John, who says, I had my aortic valve replaced three years ago and was told after my last echo, the valve was leaking, but not bad enough that I need to be operated on. I'm curious to know, does strenuous exercise put me at any risk? Well, again, if it's a small leak, there's no risk. It's, and uh, you can go ahead and exercise. I tell people who have some leaks, don't bench press 400 pounds, but there aren't too many people who bench press 400 pounds. But uh, moderate to even vigorous exercise is okay as long as you're not having symptoms. There is one exception to this, and this doesn't really apply to John, but it applies to people who may some, have some other types of valvular heart disease. And probably the most critical is aortic stenosis. If you have critical to severe aortic stenosis and you've been told that you need an operation, then you really should probably lay off strenuous exercise. The other scenario too is if you have any symptoms associated with that exercise. Now what are those symptoms? Well, if you exercise vigorously enough, we all get short of breath. That's what we do when we stress test people. We bring them to their maximum so they can't go any further. So don't go to that point necessarily in your exercise. But if you have other types of symptoms that may be a little more uh, related to uh, bad outcomes in patients who have valvular heart disease, such as chest pain, chest tightness, syncope, which means fainting, or pre-syncope, which is sort of feeling like you have to faint, then you need to listen to your body. You can't push yourself past those points. But in most scenarios, in valvular heart disease, unless it's severe and you don't have symptoms, again, the exception being severe aortic stenosis, you can probably feel free to exercise. And just so you know, Dr. Savage, you described my situation perfectly. Yeah. I had severe aortic stenosis, I had symptoms, and my doctor said, slow down right. on the exercise. Right. So, right. Well, thank you for sharing sure. both before surgery and Absolutely. after surgery about sure. exercise. And thanks for yeah. stopping by, Dr. Savage. Yeah. It's great having you. All right. I think you're doing a great job for all the people out there with valvular heart disease. Oh, thanks so much.